it's Kimber and today I'm at the Disneyland Resort in Tokyo, Japan. So it's around 9.30 a.m. on a Wednesday and it is already super packed in here. So the first thing is first we are getting onto the Disneyland app to figure out what shows and rides we want to get on to today. Our plan is made and we are off. First things first, we're going to grab a picture with Walt and Mickey. And then, since we skipped breakfast this morning, we're going to go ahead and grab some delicious churros. Man, oh man, do I love myself a good churro. It is like literally happiness in your mouth. Mm -mm -mm. After getting our churros, we realized that the line for Pirates of the Caribbean was super short, which is unusual because the ride is amazing. So we hopped in line for that, and it was a perfect way to start the day at Disney because it was inside, so a good escape from the heat. Since I'm going to Disney in Japan, I expected a lot of the rides to be um, translated to Japanese, but that's actually not the case. A lot of them are still in their original English formats. After Pirates of the Caribbean, we quickly headed over to one of my favorite rides in all of Disneyland, Space Mountain. It's a high speed thrill ride and also a great way to get out of that super hot Japanese sun. How was Space Mountain, Rick? It was intense. <laughs> yeah, it was very fun though. It's time to eat and we are starving. Since we live in Japan, we decided to go for a more American meal. Hot dogs, a drink, and some french fries. We usually don't buy food at theme parks, but I'm glad that we decided to splurge today. The hot dogs don't look like much, but they were so delicious. It could just be because we were really hungry. Overall, this meal was a 10 out of 10. The only thing I'd complain about is the size. After this meal, we were still hungry, so we took it as another opportunity to try more food around the park. We went to another place and we got chicken on a stick. Say what you will about it, it was good. By the time we finished eating, it was noon, the hottest point in the day, so it only made sense to head over to Splash Mountain. And of course, this is not an original idea. Everyone and their mom had that exact same idea, so the line for Splash Mountain was insane. But Rick and I decided to splurge even more, and we bought fast passes for this ride. And honestly, best decision ever. Splash Mountain is one of the most popular rides in the entire park. And it's not just because it's super fun, but the scenery around this ride is just absolutely amazing. And anyone who's ever taken this ride knows that you're going to get soaking wet, which in Japan I think people look forward to. As you can see, no one's in a poncho because it's so hot you just want to get cooled off by that nice cold water. <laughs> so wet. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> God damn. We are we're soaked. <laughs> oh, that was scary, but fun. Next door to Splash Mountain is the Western River Railroad, which is an exclusive steam train to Tokyo Disneyland. It only circles through Adventureland, Critter Country, and Western Land. Since we're in Japan, I couldn't really understand anything since it was all in Japanese, but that aside, it was still great to sit back and enjoy the scenery. After this train ride, we headed over to the next train ride and did Big Thunder Mountain. However, I wasn't able to videotape that, so here's a video of Rick and I playing a shooting game in Western Land. This was honestly really fun, I would definitely check it out if I was you. Around this time, we started to get a bit hungry again, so we decided to get a snack. And when I tell you this is a, the best drink I have ever had, I am not kidding. This drink was so good, when we left the shop, people were looking to see what kind of drink I was holding. The most memorable part of our trip to Disneyland were the live shows that we were able to see. The first show, unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to record, so I tried to quickly get the beginning and the ending, but that's all I really got. However, the second show I was able to record and show you guys. It was great being able to see Disney characters like Mickey, 
Donald Duck, Goofy, Minnie Mouse, Daisy, and some other side characters I was actually really surprised to see on stage. All in all, both shows had a lot of great dancing and singing and it was a really great feel-good activity to do at Disneyland Tokyo. After both shows, the sun started to go down very quickly and it was clear that our time at Disney was coming to an end. So we quickly headed to the last ride of the night. It's a small world. Perfect last ride at Disney. Here's a fun fact you may not have known. The Japanese version of It's a Small World is slightly different from the English version. In the English version, the chorus goes, It's a small world after all, and then it repeats and it repeats and it repeats. But in the Japanese version, it goes a little something like this. The world is small, the world is the same, the world is round, the world is one and the same. And that's the chorus in Japanese. And the time to eat is upon us again and we are headed for our final meal at Disney and possibly the best one we've had yet. We ended up getting the special meal for Disney's 40th anniversary and it did not disappoint. I mean, look at this spread. All we need to do now is cheers. Come by! And to end an already perfect night at Disneyland, Rick and I got amazing spots to see the light show parade. We got to see so many great and spectacular lights, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Toy Story, but mostly I was interested in the princesses. We got to see Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and the genie was so cool the way he changed the lights like that. Also, Rapunzel, the princesses from Frozen, and so many classic characters, even some that I remember from childhood that I have not seen in a very long time. The light show was absolutely spectacular and the best way to end the night at Disney. Hey guys, it's finally time to go home and leave Disneyland. But I had so much fun today and I hope you had fun coming along with us. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!